हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इफेक्ट्स ऑफ टैरिफ अंडर पार्शल इक्विलिब्रियम एज वी नो टैरिफ हैज सो मैनी इकोनॉमिक इफेक्ट किंडल बर्गर मैंशन एट इफेक्ट्स ऑफ टैरिफ अंडर पार्शल इक्विलिब्रियम इट्स इंक्लूड प्रोटेक्टिव और प्रोडक्शन इफेक्ट कंजम्पन इफेक्ट रिवेन्यू इफेक्ट रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफेक्ट टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड इफेक्ट कंपेटिटिव इफेक्ट इनकम इफेक्ट एंड बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट इफेक्ट वन बाय वन वी डिस्कस अबाउट ईच इफेक्ट फर्स्टली वी टॉक अबाउट प्रोटेक्टिव और प्रोडक्शन इफेक्ट और प्रोटेक्टिव इफेक्ट मीन्स वी बेसिकली इम्पोज टेरिव सो दैट वी कैन प्रोटेक्ट अवर होम कंट्री फ्रॉम फॉरन कॉम्पिटिशन वी अंडरस्टैंड ईच इफेक्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस डायग्राम इन दिस डायग्राम ऑन एक्स एक्सिस वी हैव डिमांड एंड सप्लाई एंड वाई एक्सिस वी हैव प्राइज दिस डी डी इज डोमेस्टिक डिमांड एंड दिस एस एस is domestic supply initially before imposing any tariff means when there was no tariff price of goods was o p and domestic demand was o q1 and domestic production was o q and import was q q1 uh, please listen carefully initially before imposing any tariff price of goods was o p and domestic demand was o q1 and uh, domestic production was o q and import was q q1 okay now suppose government imposed tariff as government imposed tariff price of goods increase now price of goods is o p1 because now import become very expensive for us that's why we reduce quantities of import now we have only q3 q2 import after imposing tariff we have only q3 q2 import because import become very expensive that's why we increase our domestic production our domestic production has increased oq2 o Q3. This increase in domestic production Q Q3 is basically called production effect. This increase in domestic production Q Q3 is basically called production effect. Now we will talk about consumption effect. Consumption effect basically shows after imposing tariff our consumption fall because price of goods increase. Consumption effect basically shows after imposing tariff our consumption fall because price of goods increase. Increase. Here you can see uh, before imposing any tariff, our price was O P. At O P price, our domestic demand, or we can say that our consumption was O Q one. Before imposing any tariff at O P price, our domestic demand, or we can say that our consumption was O Q one. But now, when tariff imposed, price of goods increase. Now we have O. P1 price at O P1 price our consumption fall O Q1 to O Q2 means after imposing tariff we have only O Q2 consumption okay this fall in consumption from Q1 to Q2 is basically called consumption effect fall in consumption from uh, Q1 to Q2 is basically called consumption effect now we will talk about revenue effect revenue effect basically shows imposition of tariff provide Provide some revenue to government. Revenue effect basically shows imposition of tariff provides some revenue to government. Suppose government imposes P P one per unit of tariff. Government imposes P P one per unit of tariff. And after imposing tariff, total quantities of import is Q three. Q2 government impose P P1 per unit of tariff and after imposing tariff quantities of import is Q3 Q2 and when we multiply P P1 with Q3 Q2 it would be equal to revenue earned by government after imposing tariff and P P1 multiply with Q3 Q2 will equal to B C E F so this B C E F basically revenue earned by government after imposing tariff this b c e f revenue earned by government after imposing tariff now we will talk about redistribution effect redistribution effect basically shows transfer of consumer surplus to producer surplus redistribution effect basically shows transfer of consumer surplus to producer surplus as we know after imposing tariff price increase when price increase consumer surplus fall but producer surplus increase that's why we can say that transfer of consumer surplus to producer surplus here you can see before imposing tariff consumer surplus was r 
एच पी बिफोर इम्पोजिंग एनी टैरिफ कंज्यूमर सरप्लस वोज आर एच पी बट आफ्टर इम्पोजिंग टैरिफ कंज्यूमर सरप्लस इज आर सी पी वन आर एच पी इज मोर देन फ्रॉम आर सी P1. So we can say that after imposing tariff, consumer surplus four. On the other hand, uh, uh, before imposing tariff, producer surplus was T A P. But after imposing tariff, producer surplus was T P T B P1. T B P1 is more than from T A P. So we can say that after imposing tariff, because price increase, producer surplus increase, but consumer surplus four. So we can say that consumer surplus is transferred to producer surplus. We will talk about terms of trade effect. According to traditional theorists, after imposing tariff, our terms of trade improve. According to traditional theorists, after imposing tariff, our terms of trade Trade improve, but how we can see that after imposing tariff, our terms of trade improve. Here you can see before imposing tariff, our import was Q Q one, but after imposing uh, tariff, our import fall. Now we have only Q three Q two quantities of import, and if our import fall, then it may be possible foreign producer reduce the price of import. If our import price reduce means we are doing more import with the same export. If we are doing more import with the same export means our terms of trade improve. So we can say that after imposing tariff, our terms of trade can. Improve. We will talk about competitive effect. Competitive effect means imposition of tariff can increase the competitive power of our domestic industry. Competitive effect means imposition of tariff can increase the competitive power of our domestic industry. But how? How imposition of tariff can increase the competitive power of our industry? Here you can see uh, before tariff our domestic production was O Q, but after tariff our domestic production increase. now we have o q3 domestic production this increase in domestic production can increase the competitive power of infant industries of our domestic country now we will see income effect income effect basically says after imposing tariff it may be possible uh, production employment and income of our domestic country will increase income effect basically say after imposing tariff it may be possible production employment and income of our domestic country will increase because as we know before imposing tariff our import was q Q1, but after imposing tariff, our import fall. Now we we have only Q3, Q2 import, and money that we not spend on import, either we spend on home produced goods or save. If we are spending our money on home produced goods, it can be cause of increase production, employment, and income of our domestic country. Last effect of tariff, it's called balance of payment effect. As we know, if our import is more than from export, we have deficit balance of payment. If our import is more than from our export, we have deficit balance of payment. And when we impose tariff, our import fall. If import fall means deficit of balance of payment fall. So we can say that imposition of tariff can reduce the deficit of balance of payment. In this diagram, you can see before imposing tariff, our import was Q. Q1 and payment of import was Q A H Q1. But after imposing tariff, import fall. Now we have only Q3 Q2 import and net payment for import is Q3 H E Q Q2. This is very less payment as compared to earlier. Less payment means our import is reducing. If if import is reducing, means deficit of balance of payment is reducing. So we can say that after imposing tariff, our deficit of balance of payment is fall. This is all about effect of tariff under partial equilibrium. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.